to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Thrasher Skater of the Year 2022 and just how controversial this year is. I know I'm not special and my opinion doesn't really matter. There's thousands and thousands of people leaving their opinions all over Skate Twitter and YouTube and you know Instagram and it's just uh, I know it's a lot so this video is probably just going to get lost in the wash but uh, at the end of the day, I think it's pretty interesting to talk about. Today's unofficial drink sponsor is Traditional Medicinals Organic Throat Goat Throat Coat. It's got the slippery elm. Ooh. But yeah, I've been drinking a ton of this stuff. I've been so sick the past three days with the flu, uh, cold flu. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I've had probably 30 cups of this stuff. So, um,. That's the beverage of choice for today's video. All right, so let's get right into the meat and potatoes of the video. First of all, I'm gonna give my pick. My pick would go to Spanky. I know it's, you know, whatever, but his horses part was amazing and the ace lucky shirt part was phenomenal. And um, at his age, he's 38 years old. That's pretty incredible to be skating at that level. And I just think that he's put an equivalent amount of work in as, uh, you know some of these other guys um i just think personally for me i think you know disregarding like uh you know if nija and taishan didn't go so hard this year i think that he had a real chance of of winning it and then the other uh underdog i would say would be tifo <laughs> but yeah i think that uh he's kind of like the people's champ i think the majority of skateboarders relate mostly to him, especially the younger audience, as far as his style, trick selection, uh, the parts. I think out of all of the like most recent parts, I think his was one of the most enjoyable to watch. Uh, and when you compare it to something like um, Nija, who you know had these super incredible high level skating. Uh, just parts that, you know, mind melters, just enders after enders after enders. And you got to put like some respect on it, obviously. But, um, but it's not relatable skateboarding, you know, it went past the point of people being able to watch it and be like, wow, I'd like to try that one day because most of the stuff just looks like deadly terrifying. Um, and then the other issue with his skating is um, when you watch all these bangers back to back to back, it dulls them. You know what I mean? So I was watching his uh, shine on part and it was just like, you know, halfway through, I'm just like, you, you forget the nuances of rail skating, at least for me. So they start to all look the same. You know, I understand like this one's two stairs longer or this one's, a, the rail is a little taller and steeper. But it's really hard to get that on camera. So unless you've like been to the spots and seen them, it, it just doesn't it doesn't translate the camera. So it halfway through the part, you're feeling like, okay, another handrail, okay, another handrail, okay, another handrail. You know, and it's uh, uh I don't want to say boring, but just predictable. And again, it's hard to read how the spots translate to difficulty. Um, you know, when he's going that big for that many, you know, it's, they're mostly all 20 stairs, basically. So the 20 stairs start to look like 10 stairs and the way he skates them, they do. And that's commendable, obviously. But at the end of the day, I think the younger kids and the people that are going to be voting for this, um, they will have a hard time justifying voting for it. You know, I think everyone understands that he's, top tier doing the craziest stuff but uh but 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 it's hard to translate into a video you know it's one of those things where if you watch it in person it's probably insane but like just 12 minutes on his uh you know um uh, need that part 12 minutes of just pure banger rail skating banger rail skating banger rail skating it just gets lost you know the the heaviness of it gets lost after like five minutes in and then that would bring us to Tyshawn now 
I personally think Tyshawn's going to win. You can kind of see that Thrasher has like sort of been pushing it more. Uh, they just released a video with him and Nikel and Jolly yesterday. And it was pretty, it's a super fun watch. Definitely recommend that. But I, I just, it almost seems like, like they, they know who they're going to pick. My problem with the Tyshawn parts is, uh, you know, obviously the, uh, the Supreme video is filmed by William Strobeck. I cannot stand his filming. It's, I mean, I think most of the skate community can't stand it. Uh, what was it? The Street League SLS Trick of the Year account on Twitter posted his clip and had to insert Walker Ryan's perspective of it just so that you could see how crazy it was because... It, it just the filming is so bad. You, I don't think at any point you can see the whole spot, the trick, and what he's doing in almost any of the clips. I, so I think that was a huge disservice what Strobeck did for Tyshawn. I just think that, uh, yeah, he, he he deserved to be filmed much better. And we all we all know about the um, the, the kick flip over the the subway station gap. I mean. He barely got his ankles in the board in the shot, and there was no second angle other than the photo, which is uh, the, the cover of Thrasher. So when you see the cover of Thrasher, when you finally get to see that clip, and it's filmed that bad, and you have no perspective of how far it was or how gnarly it was, um, I mean, unless you live in New York and you can go down there and look at it for yourself, it's like, you know, how do you judge that? You know, I even saw Jim Thebo at the deluxe office, putting tape on the ground, and measuring out how far it was after the Jankum guys went there and measured it. It's crazy that like, when have you ever seen someone land a trick and then people in the skate industry are going around and like measuring and laying tape on the ground so they can actually like physically get a representation of how crazy the trick was because it was filmed so bad. like. That's crazy. Like, I don't know how Strobeck is still allowed even. Like, if I was to sh if I was Tyshawn, I would be like, yo, you're not filming any more of my clips, period. That's it. Like, I'm not risking kick flipping a freaking subway gap again, and you literally got 5% of my body in the frame. Like, that's insane. Like, and he's going to be like, yo, but it's my artistic style and approach to filming. And at the end of the day, like, dude, you literally... Like, like, you could have destroyed his chances of winning this because of just how bad you made his tricks look. So that's my opinion on that. I do think Tyshawn is going to win just because of his favoritism with Thrasher at the moment and just how hard they kind of been pushing his stuff. Uh, Thrasher's been reposting a lot of his Instagram stories. They've been reposting um, his stuff a lot on Twitter. So if you've kind of been seeing that trend, it's sort of like, yeah... And as far as Nyjah goes, uh, I think he knows he's not going to win. If you actually listen to the entire Steve-O Nyjah podcast that just came out last week, uh, Steve-O's Wild Ride, I think it's called, with Nyjah. And uh, he even says, he's like, I'm going to keep trying no matter what. This is just what I do. I think he already knows that they're not going to give it to him for whatever reason. I don't know any of the conspiracies on that. I just think he knows that it's not gonna happen and it might not ever happen, judging by the tone of his voice and how he talked about it. He basically said, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, and I'm still gonna keep skating and putting out parts. And, you know, so it already sounded like defeated a little bit. So this is the other thing too. If Thrasher's Skater of the Year is legitimately chose by the people's vote, I think T-Funk has a real good shot of winning. Like I said, he's very relatable. He's very relatable to the younger kids. There's a lot of younger skaters. There's a lot of hate on Nyjah. I mean, it's there's no denying that he's one of the craziest skateboarders on planet Earth and that the stuff he's doing is ridiculously insane. Uh, his precision is crazy. The fact that he's like only just gotten hurt this past year and that's like the first serious injury he's ever had is mind blowing. So there's all these things that go into it, but if you're just talking about what's going on this year, uh, I think if the people voted, they'd pick T-Funk. And then second, I would say Tyshawn. Um, 
third would be Louis, and I think Nigel would probably get the least amount of votes. That's just my opinion. I know it's controversial. Um, like I said, my pick is Spanky. Love Spanky. Yeah, that's just my opinion on Thrasher, Skater of the Year 2022. Um, obviously, I mean, it could go any which way. Like I said, though, it seemed like Nigel was prepared to lose, and he almost expects it. And uh, Thrasher has just been all over Tyshawn and reposting his stuff. So I think, like I said, I think it's pretty clear that Tyshawn's got it this year uh, for a second time, which will be pretty cool. He'll be up there with the very few that have had it twice. I think, like I said, at the end of the day, if the people's vote counted, it would probably go to T-Funk. That part was so fun to watch. Like, I've watched it, like, multiple times. Um, as far as, you know, like, I'm not going to watch a Nigel part twice. But I respect everything he does. Like, in the uh, in the Ty Evans part, he fakey 50-50 is a super long double kink rail. And you've got to throw some respect on that. Like, no one's fakey 50-50 in long handrails, especially with kinks in them. That's just not happening. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I also posted a poll in my community tab on YouTube. So go over there, click who you think is going to win, um, leave a comment, let me know why. Let me know if you agree with my opinion or disagree. I don't know. Like I said, at the end of the day, I think Tyshawn is going to win or Nigel will win. And I don't think... Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be happy at the end of the day. <laughs> I think if Tyshawn wins, people are going to be so crazy upset that Nigel didn't get it. I think if Nigel wins, people are going to be crazy upset that Tyshawn didn't get it. Um, I think if T-Funk wins, that'll be the craziest skater of the year ever. Uh, a lot of people will be mad, but who knows? So I guess we just got to wait and see now. Um, that being said, thanks everyone for hanging out and listening to me ramble about my thoughts on Skater of the Year 2022. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, put, the, uh, put a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> uh, follow me on my social medias and I'll see everyone next week. Peace. Don't know nothing about me, dude.